Grade 4 math number 29. Multiply two-digit numbers with regrouping. In our last video, we multiplied two-digit numbers by using partial products. Now we're going to use place value and regrouping. And in order to do that, we need to multiply the two-digit numbers by distributing them to each place value. All right, so this is what we're going to do. This is the opposite of video 28, our last video, this is the opposite of the partial products method. What we're going to do in this method is we're going to multiply the 1's. 3 times 4 is 12, and we're going to carry over the 1 and put the 2 down. Now we're going to multiply the 1's to the 10's over here. 3 times 20 is 60, plus 1 is 70. So it goes into the 10's place value right here as a 7, see? Now that the 3 has been multiplied to both the 4 and the 2, it's the 1's turn to be multiplied. And it's going to go to the 1, it's going to go to the 4, and then to the 2. See, it's going to take its turn. So this 1 is actually a 10, isn't it? Because this is 13. It's a 10 and 3 1's. So we're going to do 10 times 4, which is 40 and the 40 goes down here underneath the 72. Then we're going to do the 1 times the 2, which is actually a 10 times a 20, isn't it? Because that's it's in the tens place value. 1 times 2 is 2. Keep in mind it's actually 10 times 20, and it's going to go into the hundreds place value because 10 times 20 is 200. See how it's in the hundreds place value? 1's, 10's, hundreds. Then now that we've got the 3 multiplied to the 4 and to the 2, and the 1 multiplied to the 4 and to the 2, we're going to add them all up. 0 plus 2 is 2. 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1 and put the 1 down. And 2 and 1 is 3. So, in this method, we multiplied the 1's by the 1's, the 4 times the 3, then the 1 times the 10's, the 3 times the 20, and we add... We added the carryover with it. Then we did the tens here times the ones and then the tens times the tens. Now if you remember from our last video, when we did partial products, we didn't do it this way, we did it the opposite way. This is the partial products and this is the place value way that we just did, okay? This way right here is this way we just did it. If you look, the first thing we do and the place value method is we multiply the ones. But in partial products, we do that last. See that? And in the place value method, we multiply the ones to the tens going this way. But they did that third. See how whatever is number one for this one is number four for this one. The third thing we did in the place value was multiply these tens by these ones and they did that second. And the last thing we did for place value was multiply the tens to the tens, and they did that first. So see how partial products method is the backwards method of place value? This is my preferred way of doing two-digit multiplication. I kind of think that this is confusing to kids when they're learning this method. But the state says you need to learn how to do both methods, and it might actually help some kids who have trouble with this method. So you should teach both methods. Okay? So let's try some examples. All right? Let's try some doing some problems. My washing machine takes 35 minutes to wash one load of laundry. How many minutes will it take to wash 24 loads of laundry? Well, I'll need to multiply the 35 minutes for each load 24 times, won't I? So 35 times 24. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 4 times the 5 right here. 4 times 5 is 20. We carry the 2 and put the 0 down right here, see? Now we do 4 times 3 is 12 and we add the 2. 12, 13, 14. 
and we put the 14 here. And it's really 4 times 30, isn't it? It's 4 times 30 plus the 2, the two tens that we carried over from the 1s. So we have 1, 4, 0 here now. So now we're going to multiply this 20 by the 5. 2 times 5 is 10. We don't need that carryover anymore, so we get rid of it. 2 times 5 is 10. We carry over the 1, and we put the 0 down in the tens place. The reason that the answer to this one goes here in the tens place is because we're now multiplying the tens place. See? So we're going to skip this spot right here. So, 2 times 5 is 10. We carry the 1 and we put the 0 down. Then we do 20 times 30 right here. We do the 2 times the 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and we put it here in the hundreds place. Because 20 times 30 is 600 and we've got one more so it makes it 7. See? Now, once we've got these, we add them up. 0 drops down, 4 and 0 is 4, and 1 and 7 is 8, and 35 times 24 is 840. So let's try this again real quick. We've got 52 times 17. The first thing we're going to do is multiply the 7 and the 2. 7 times 2 is 14. We carry the 1 and put the 4 down. Now we're going to do 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 more is 36. Now remember, now that we're multiplying this 10 space, we did the 7 going to both of them. Now that it's the 1's turn, we ignore this spot right here. See? We're going to immediately go to the 10 space because we're multiplying 10's. Now because this was the carryover from the, doing the 7, we have to get rid of it, otherwise it could confuse us. 1 times 2 is 2, we put the answer here, and 1 times 5 is 5. Now, what would have happened if I had left that carryover up there when we did the 1 times 5? We might have added it and gotten a wrong number. So it's real important when you do the carryover that you get rid of it or scratch it out before you do the next place value, okay? 4 plus nothing drops down to 4. 6 and 2 is 8, and 3 and 5 is 8, and 52 times 17 is 844. Let's try one more time and we'll do it with money, okay? Let's see what we've got here. Now remember when we multiply money, we're going to want to have this dollar sign at the end, okay? So the first thing we do is we multiply 1 times 3, which is 3. And now we're going to multiply 1 times 6, which is 6. Now we're going to multiply the 3 times 3, and because we're in the tens place, the answer is going to go in the tens place. And then 3 times 6 is 18, it's going to go next to it here, okay? We're going to add this up, we're going to get 3, 9 and 6 is 15, carry the 1, put the 5 down, 8 times, 8 plus 1 is 9, and we drop down our 1, okay? Let's be careful of this, we can't put that there, can we? We're doing money. So, we have a dollar sign, all right? Sixty-three dollars thirty-one times is one thousand. It is one thousand nine hundred and fifty-three dollars. Okay. There's a little hidden cents thing that they're not showing. See that? There normally would be a dot zero zero, but they're not showing that. Okay. It's just sixty-three dollars. So there's no decimal points in this uh, in this problem. So the first thing we do is multiply the 1s, then the 1s by the 10s, then the 10s by the 1s, and then the 10s by the 10s. I know this seems confusing, but this is the difference between the two methods. This one starts on the inside and ends on the inside. This one starts on the outside and ends on the outside. You see that difference? This one makes a V. This one makes an upside-down V. Do you see how that's happening? So... That is the difference between place value regrouping multiplication and partial products multiplication. But this is my preferred method, the place value regrouping method. Kind of old school. I'll see you next video. Keep up the hard work. You're doing great. I'm really proud of you. Bye.